Hello, uh, and welcome to the ICA Electricin video user manual series. And here I would like to uh, walk you guys through how to use the assist mode on Electricin. So let's turn this guy on. And for assist mode, this is really, um, this is for either new users who've never run an electrochemical experiment before, and you don't really have electrochemical conditions, you're not really sure where to start. And this is also be really helpful even for more advanced users. Um, if you're running a reaction that you haven't run before, and you really would just want some guidelines about starting uh, currents and starting voltages, um, even us, you know, more experts in electrochemistry like to use this as just a starting point. Um, so first today we're going to run Yu Kawamata's um, uh, Buckwald amination using electrochemistry with nickel. And so I have the solution all mixed up here with a stir bar. And here I'm going to use a uh, stainless steel cathode for the counter electrode and a carbon uh, anode uh, for the working electrode here. And so I'm just going to fit this together. And then we can just click this right in there. Okay, so we're all ready to go. So we go down again from the home screen, we go to assist mode, we click this here. And this is really gonna tell me, um, give me guidelines for how to run this reaction based on the number of millimoles of starting material and the, really the number of equivalents of electrons I wanna do for reductions or oxidations. And so, you has been kind enough to mix this up for us and we're going to start, this is a reaction, he has 0 0.2 millimoles of substrate, so I'm gonna input that in there. Click OK. Um, now then it asks you for, if you'd like suggestions for the reaction conditions. And this is really just to help out someone, let's say you've never run an electrochemical reaction before and you want some basic suggestions, I'm gonna click yes. And this just gives us um, some general guidelines. So for electrodes, if you've never run a reaction before, uh, we suggest graphite are really nice electrodes to use for, for most reactions. They're pretty inexpensive uh, and they generally lurk, work, they're pretty robust. Um, it's not until you go to further optimizations or more special applications that you need to use other types of electrodes. Uh, it also gives you some suggestions for solvents and concentrations as well as electrolytes. And for more information, you can either read uh, a couple of our reviews or you can uh, access uh, more information at ICA.com. So I'm going to click OK here. And here, this is really the, the nitty gritty of the assist mode. And so we chose, decided to, uh, to set this up uh, with different power levels. And what these power levels correspond to is they correspond to potentials. Uh, so low is 2 volts medium is four volts, and high is six volts, and that's the terminal potential, the potential difference, not reference, between the cathode and the anode. And we click on one of these, what happens is it determines what current is needed to run the reaction at that given potential. Um, and so you're gonna, it's, the assist mode is going to set up, after it gets this information, it's gonna set up a reaction running at constant current uh, using the uh, potential uh, that you set it for there. And so for the Kawamata oxidation, um, this is normally generally run at around four milliamps for about this scale. And so let's click on low uh, and let's see what this, uh, what this does. So here the electrosyn is analyzing the resistance needed. From that it can gather what starting potential we should run it at. And so that's telling me that uh, it's suggesting about 1.4 milliamps. And just based on the fact that we already know this reaction, I know it needs a little bit more. And so I could go into the editing screen and, and kind of adjust that. But let's just see, just for a demonstration, what happens if we click on the medium. And so here again, we're going to analyze using that initial four volts up for the terminal potential, the cell potential. And it's going to give me a, a, a reaction conditions in terms of current. And so that's starting at about eight, which is a little bit high. Um, so let's, let's run that, uh, that anyways. And so we're gonna click okay. It's gonna ask the number of equivalents of electrons you'd like to use. And in electrochemical literature, this is referred to as Faraday's per mole. But as a synthetic organic chemist, we really like to think about this as just uh, in terms of stoichiometry. So this is the equivalence of electrons here. And we know this is a two electron reductive process. Um, so you could choose two, but I'm gonna add a little bit more current there and, uh, and we're gonna run this at, at 2.5 Faraday's per mole. Click okay. 
You could save the experiment if you want to, but personally I think it's easy enough just to go through and, and alter the parameters on your own. Um, so we're not going to save that experiment. And after we're done with that, we get to this kind of uh, pre-reaction running screen. And this is the same for all reactions we run with the electrocin. And it tells us pretty much all of our parameters for uh, the reaction we're going to run. So it shows the experiment type as a constant current, the value we're running that at eight milliamps, the reference electrode we're not using, the duration is based on the Faraday's per mole, which is correlated to the um, number of millimoles I've inputted in earlier, and we're not gonna alternate the polarity. Now let's say you did wanna edit this, you can easily go over to the edit button, and we can scroll down and we could potentially uh, adjust any of these numbers. So if let's say we wanted to adjust the current a little bit, we can adjust that down, or if we want it higher, we could uh, adjust that back up. And we're not gonna adjust anything now, we're just gonna run it. So we click the back button to get to the pre-reaction running screen, and click start, and now that reaction is running. Let me just walk you through what you see here. At the top of the screen, we know we're running a constant current reaction. On the plus side over here, this shows us that we're having positive charge here at the working electrode, and the minus shows that we have negative charge here at the counter electrode, designated by the C on the top. We're running it at 4.8 volts. Uh, the set milliamps is shown here, 8.0 milliamps. Charge left, uh, again, we started with 2.5 Faraday's per mole, and that's gonna slowly count down until the reaction is completed. And you can also adjust uh, the stirring, uh, stirring rate um, with the dial there. Now if we want to stop the reaction, we can do a couple things. We can click the, the main button and we can have the option to resume it or to stop the experiment and that brings you back to the edit screen. We'll resume it here again. The other interesting thing is if you do say you want to pull out the reaction, uh, take an aliquot out for TLC or something, um, let's just pull this straight out here. It's actually going to detect that we've removed the vial, it's going to stop the experiment and if I want to put it back in there, I can click it back in, and again, push resume, and now it's resumed straight from where we left off. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this clarifies how to use the assist mode. Um, tune into the other videos we have.